<coughs> All right, so for some foremost, I want to give a praise to Yahweh, Baal Shem, and Shai Baal Shem, and We say that the apostles and elders agree most of the well. Our teachers, our apostles, and the truth. We say that the teachers, sorry, I can't put you on the truth and say, Dean and the out, and the continuity is on the season. We say, Shalom. You know, once again, going to the video here. Just basically touching upon the latest news. As you can see, you know, recently, um, <coughs> for the past few hours, I should say, there's like um, airstrikes and so forth going on between Gaza and Israel, right? And um, and I know the little frictions and tensions going on right now. It had plenty of videos surfacing where you're seeing um, plenty of airstrikes, you know, airstrikes are one against each other and two forth. Um, and as you can see, 19 hours ago, 14 hours ago, 12 hours ago, a day ago, 6 hours ago, all these things. And right now is is pandemonium going on right now. It's, 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 it's dead, destruction happening. You know, all are wrong. You know, so much times. You know, you know for the people that are watching and not taking heed, you have to take heed. You know, to keep, don't, don't keep on thinking everything is a joke. Take heed. Because, it's, again, you see the prophecies playing out. You know, much times you have to say that over and over. Again, the Lord sees the watchman and you say, warn the people. And that's what we do. We warn them. You know? We warn them about these things. Um, right now, right now it have a, a, a gas so shortage. A gas shortage right now. Happening. So you can see where... You can see the turmoil where, that the world going into. And how critical the time is. See, for the time is at hand. Time is at hand. Yes, the time is at hand. We see all these things happening, all these things. And that we say to, to repent and turn back to, to the Lord, turn back to Yahweh Hashem Shai. Right? I'm gonna jump to a script there. This is Matthew 24. We'll jump to verse. Um, Matthew 24. Hmm. I wanted to bring a script here before I bring this, but let me jump to verse um, verse six. See, this is Matthew, Matthew chapter twenty-four, verse six. He say, "And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. But the end is not yet. Yeah, yeah. So you see, you see, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars." Ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. All these things, as scripture says, all these things must come to pass. There is no, there is no um, turning it back. You know, for instance, um, I'm gonna bring a scripture here. Um, this is Second Ezra, right? This is Second Ezra chapter. Mm. 16, chapter, chapter, um, second Ezra, chapter 16, verse, um, <laughs> verse 3, it say, a sword is sent, up, is sent upon you, and who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? It say, plagues are sent unto you, and what it is, what, and what is he that may drive them away? <laughs> you know? Hey, it say, may, it say, may any man drive away an hungry lion in the wood, or may anyone quench the fire in stubble when it had begun to burn. May one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer. It say, the mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? No one, because the Lord sent it, and it's your where well, all these things must come to pass. You can't turn away that, as as as, as you say here, a, a lion that hungry in the wood, right? You could drive away a lion that hungry in the woods. No, it's, it's going to chase. It's, he's here and he's he hungry and he wants to eat. He's going to chase here until he gets here. You can't drive him away no matter. You, you see countless of videos and you can't drive away a lion when, it, when it's hungry. You understand? You see, you, you, could, quench, you could quench a fire when, when it's in his stubble and it already begun to burn. You can't. The only thing is it's going to spread. So, and verse 6 and verse 7 so what? No, verse 8, so and the mighty Lord sent the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? No one can drive them away. I was, I was particularly reading a, a post early this morning where you see, you see Christians want to talk about the prayer so these things could stop. No, you can't stop this. The Lord sent it, and no one can turn it away. No one. 
But you now reading through the post, you can see the mindset of these people, these Christians and so forth. They believe that they could stop these things. They believe that they could turn the Lord's hand. You know? <laughs> that not written. <laughs> even the Lord, even, even it's written here, the mighty Lord sent the plagues. And who is he that can drive them away? No one. Say, they say, a fire shall go forth from his wrath, and who is he that that may quench it? <laughs> hey, so as I say, I just bring this, I just bring that scripture to show that hey, when he seems sent, you can't turn it back, you can't turn it back. <laughs> so, jumping back to Matthew 24, it say, Well, it say, and ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, all these things must come to pass. You see in here, you see in here what? Walls, rumors of walls. You're seeing things happening. You go down, you're seeing, obviously, what this is. Um, why Americans are buying, why Americans are panic buying fuel. You know, all these things, fuel shortages. Recently it had meat shortages, you know, farming, all these things. And what, what do you script there say? You say, uh, you say what? Um, see that ye be not trouble for all these things must come to pass so all these things must come to pass this this is these is the signs at the end i see the end is being made manifest three effects on our signs and that's what going on here it's only plagues and it's only things happening all over seeing the prophecies taking part and again them that wicked them that don't want to hearken will obviously perish with it perish with the things that come in right you see, and ye shall hear words and rumors of words. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. You see, for nation shall rise against nation, and that is what you see. We are seeing Gaza and Israel thing, and that is not the, that is not the original Israelites. I was, I was reading a comment on one of the news thing, right? One, one of the news thing that somebody make. They say, this will show you that these is not the original people. It's that Israel bomb Gaza, and they have us to flee. They flee the land to go to America. <laughs> Hey. Hey. So it said, it said for nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. That is what you're seeing right now. <laughs> that is what you're seeing. <laughs> you see, you see, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. You see, all these are the beginning of sorrows. All these is this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning of all the things to come. That far worse that far worse. So we talk about the third war, all these things, these things that have come. The RFID chip, all these things have to come. You know, son? Great death, great, great, great mourning, all these things have to come. Uh, and as the scriptures say, for all these things must come to pass, so it must happen. <clears throat> that is why the Lord sent this watchman to, to give them a warning, to warn the people, let them take heed, turn back. See from the sinning that they continue to do. Right? They say, uh, Matthew 24 verse 6, say, all these are the beginning of sorrows. All these are the beginning of sorrows. <laughs> Imagine that people panic buying fuel, people panic buying meat, people buying this, people buying that. That's just the time that we're in. You're not sure what is going to happen. You're already seeing. You're already, talking, you're already seeing nations talking about going to attack here and there and so forth with this situation that's happening right now. Hmm. So things happening. Things happening. And see, that is an important thing to always watch and, and take heed to the prophecies. Son, the reason is an important thing to take heed of the prophecies. Make sure take heed. Take heed. Because again, as you said, this is just the beginning. What you see in here is just the beginning. You see little little rockets flying here and there. Soon it will be worldwide. Soon the whole world will be in a catastrophe. There's a reason why you see people panic buying fuel and all these things because of the of the shit that, that 
some people just be pain because they know something won't happen just, just read this it said the two groups as Israel and Gaza violence escalates and it's only going to get way, it's only going to get worse from that from from here on out from here on out you understand so take heed be prepared turn back to your hand by Shai so with that once again when you give up praises to your hover by Hashem Yon Shai by Hashem Raka Kodash we say double and say apostles and elders are great Muslim and rule our teachers are apostles and shoot and we say salutations so like I can say push me to the day and day out you know continue in season and season we say Shalom